Assalamu alaikum guys my name is Sayyid Al-Fakar Hussain and I will be teaching you Islamiyat for O levels from class 8 onwards so we will be starting our lecture from next uh, slide ok this is a passage from the Holy Quran for a special study and we have to do two surahs that is Surah Al-Baqarah Surah number 2 and verse 255 which is properly known as Ayat Al-Kursi and then we have to do Surah An'am which is Surah uh, 6 number Surah and it is verse number 101 to 103 here we can see that uh, there is a main theme one Actually, uh, our syllabus is, uh, is divided into three uh, main themes Allah in Himself, Allah's relation with the created world, Allah with His Messenger. So, this is uh, the theme Allah in Himself, and we are going to start with Ayatul Kursi, and you can recite Ayatul Kursi easily at your home. Here is the translation and I will be giving you Urdu version also that it will not be word to word translation but just to understand it Allah there is no God but He Allah ke siwa koi maabood nahi the living the self subsisting eternal zinda aur hamesha hamesha rehne wala no slumber can seize him nor sleep na usko oong aati hai aur na hi neend he is uh, his all are things in the heavens and on earth. Zameen or Asman me her cheese uski hai. Who is there can intercede in his presence except as he permits? Koi hai jo uski marzi ke bagayer uske kisi mamle or uski mojudgi me koi hisse dari ban sake ya uskandar davedari kar sake. He knows what is before or after or behind him. Wo khub janta hai jo se pehle tha ya jo uske baad hoga. Nor shall they compass any of his knowledge except as he wills. Koi uske ilm ke baare mein tasawur bhi nahi kar sakta aur na us ilm tak pohon sakta hai jab tak ke wo khud na chahe. His throne extends over the heavens and the earth. Uski kudrat aur uski hukumat asmano aur zameen mein pheli hui hai. And he feels no fatigue in guarding and preserving them for he is the most high, the most, the supreme. Aur wo inki hifazat karne mein bilkul bhi nahi thakta kyunki wo bohat hi ala aur azim hai now under this slide you can see the theme the theme of this uh, passage is God in himself along with his knowledge unmatched authority and the boundless it means that Allah Almighty is all alone and is unique we must not associate any partner with him and he is definitely uh, uh, alone and the passage which we are going to recite is known as Ayatul Kursi and the surah which is this taken from is known as Al Baqarah that is the cow and this was a Madani surah in this uh, we can clearly see and say that Allah Almighty has actually declared himself as one and only and he is matchless from any other being so he actually rejects the concept of the plurality and the concept of the shirk there because there was a, a very common perception of the people of the time that uh, uh, angels are going to be the daughters of Allah Almighty Nazbillah and some people would say that Allah has a family so Allah Almighty actually rejects this concept and uh, in the end you can see that he says then he established himself on the throne it means that whenever he wanted to be known to the people so he had created the whole universe within six days 
ورڈ قرآن سید الہ اللہ اللہ خلق سماواتی فی ستت الیام سم مستوا علی العرش دیٹ ہی از یور لارڈ ہو ہیز کریٹڈ دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ ود ان سکس ڈیز اینڈ دین ہی اسٹیبلشڈ ہز کنگڈم اوور ان ایلیویٹیڈ پلیس سب سے آگاہ جس کو ہم لوگ کہتے ہیں عرش سو so, اللہ تعالیٰ نے اپنے لیے عرش کو بنایا اور بالکل کلیئرلی کہہ دیا کہ آئی ہیو نو میچ دیٹ از وائی یو نیڈ ناٹ ٹو ہیو اینی کائنڈ آف ایسوسیشنز ود می ایٹ آل ویدر اٹ از لیونگ نان لیونگ آبجیکٹ ویدر اٹ از اسٹون ویدر اٹ از اینی کائنڈ آف ادر آبجیکٹ از اٹ کلیئر بٹا اینی تھنگ ناؤ here is uh, the importance of the theme and uh, what does the importance mean that how can muslims understand about the oneness of god that we should believe in allah's tawhid and we should not associate any partner with allah almighty at any stage so associating partners with allah is actually shirk and it is strictly condemned in islam and islam does not allow so we must not associate partners with him we must not bow in front of any other being object either living or non living we must avoid to uh, bow in front of other or we ask others for any kind of support and help because in uh, surah fatiha it is very clear that iya ka na'budu wa iya ka nasta'in that you are the one from whom we ask for the help and we you are the one we bow to so it we must be very clear that we should not bow in front of anyone because allah almighty is free from all kinds of uh, these associations now what does this uh, quran say on another place that he is exalted in power wise wo apni taqat mein bahut aala hai aur allah ka ilm bahut zyada phaila hua hai aur wo wise hai He created the heavens without any pillars. اس نے پوری آسمانوں کو پیدا کیا بغیر کسی ستون کے بغیر کسی پلر کے اور دوسری جگہ سورہ لکمان میں کیا فرماتا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ بٹ گاڈ از دا ون فری آف آل وانٹس اللہ وہ ہے جو ہر قسم کی دنیاوی خواہش سے دنیاوی چیز سے پاک ہے مبرہ ہے اینڈ ہی ڈز ناٹ نیڈ اینی ورلڈلی تھنگ Anything else clear? Now here is uh, Surah Anam That is 6th Surah of the Holy Quran And verse number 101-103 In our syllabus suggested by the Cambridge uh, Again here is the translation of uh, Surah Al-Anam And I am going to tell you Urdu version of the translation as well For easy understanding To him is due the primal origin of the heavens and the earth. زمین کی بارے میں جو اوریجنلی بناوٹ ہے اس کے بارے میں اللہ خوب جانتا ہے اور بہترین انداز میں اس کو معلوم ہے ہاؤ کین ہی ہیو اے سن وین ہی ہیز نو کانسرٹ اس کے ہاں کوئی بیٹا کیسے ہو سکتا ہے جب اس کی فیملی ہی نہیں ہے ہی کریٹڈ آل تھنگز اینڈ ہی ہیز فل نالج آف آل تھنگز اس نے ہر چیز کو پیدا کیا اور اس کے پاس اس ہر چیز کے بارے میں علم ہے اور وہ اس کی ہر چیز کے بارے میں خوب جانتا ہے دیٹ از اللہ یور لارڈ بے شک وہ تمہارا رب ہے دیر از نو گاڈ بٹ ہی بے شک اس کے سوا کوئی عبادت کے لائق نہیں ہے دا کریٹر آف آل دا تھنگز جس نے پوری کائنات کی چیزوں کو پیدا کیا دین ورشپ ہیم لہذا اسی کی عبادت کرو and he has power to dispose of all affairs aur usi ki taqat mein hai ke wo jo tamam mamlaat ko kis tarah se nibhaye aur khatam kare aur mushkilat ko dur kare no vision can grasp him but his grasp is over all vision kisi bhi insaan ki aqal mand roo ki kisi bhi insaan ki taqat aqal us tak nahi pahunch sakti magar allah ki taqat aur allah ka ilm aur allah ki nazar ہر شخص تک باقاعدہ پہنچتی ہے ہی از ابو آل کمپریہنشن یٹ از ایکوینٹیڈ ود آل تھنگس وہ ہر چیز سے اعلیٰ اور عرفا ہے اور وہ ہر چیز کے بارے میں خوب جاننے والا ہے 
again the theme of this passage is same allah in himself that is we are supposed to avoid from shirk but there is another perspective of this uh, uh, theme along with allah in himself what does it say that he is unique in his authority and he is creator of the universe so allah almighty is now telling us that he is one and only who has created everything in the universe and no one else can have this kind of authority and power and he is absolutely unique in his uh, divine uh, divine power we can say and attributes theek hai so we can say that allah almighty's power is universal power and whosoever is willing to associate him or whosoever claims that he is nazwilla god that he is rejected as if earlier people like namrud like shaddad like firon claim that they are nazwilla nazwilla gods on the earth but what allah taala did with them they were badly punished and they were badly perished so we can say that we should never even think about it or imagine about allah almighty's authority in negative way because nothing is possible without his wish even a small piece of grain cannot move even a small piece of grain cannot grow even any of the fruit in the world cannot grow itself unless allah almighty is going to ask for or permit for what does quran say on another place that says for god is he who understands the finest mysteries so allah taala knows everything whatever is uh, there matlab allah taala har qisam ke raaz se khoob waqif hai aur usko behtareen andaaz mein janta hai here is the importance of the theme and uh, allah almighty is actually telling us that we must avoid from shirk and shirk is definitely the major uh, weapon of the shaitan and he tries to misguide us and keep us on this track so that we can make lots of mistake again and again so in this way we will be drowned and we will be fully uh, we can say destroyed so our faith will also be completely perished if we will be the follower of shaitan what does allah almighty say in surah hadid and he is with you wherever you are ke wo rab tumhare sath har us jagah par hai jahan tum ho means we cannot hide ourselves from uh, allah almighty's vision from allah almighty's authority and power whether we go deep down into the soil or whether we go into the uh, oceans wherever we will go allah taala says that i am always with you and in surah kaf allah taala says for we are nearer to him man than his juggler when aur hum insaan ke ya aadmi ke juggler when yani ke jo maut ki shehrag hoti hai jise maut aa sakti hai शह रक से भी करीब हैं इट मीन दैट अल्लाह इज सो क्लोज टू अस दैट वी कैन नॉट इवन इमेजिन अबाउट सो वी मस्ट नॉट इन्वॉल्व आवर सेल्फ इन एनी काइंड ऑफ शर्क सो दैट वी आर नॉट पेरिश बाय अल्लाह ऑल माइटी और पनिश बाय अल्लाह माइटी इन दिस वर्ल्ड इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी क्वेरीज वी विल डेफिनेटली बी हैविंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेज तो यू शुड रिमेंबर ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू हैव डन so that we can discuss it there thank you very much god bless you